Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Jay Cart Ray, and this is episode six of the How to Start a Podcast on iTunes for Free series. I'm going to be showing you how to get your RSS feed over to FeedBurner, which will then be imported into iTunes. This is it's quite a complicated process, so bear with me. Um, first of all, you're going to want to get your RSS feed from iTunes, from SoundCloud, which will be located over here in Settings under Content. In order to navigate to there, you're going to want to click down on your profile, uh, go to well actually you're going to want to click on this these like little dot things then you're going to want to go to settings which will take you here or take you to the account and then you're going to want to click on content and then here you can just get your rss feed you can put in your podcast title put in your podcast author uh select your category language um this is some other stats thing that's not really important and then make sure you tick this, including RSS feed in your upload defaults, or when you upload something, just make sure that you're included in your RSS feed when you're uploading a podcast, because your podcast needs to be included in your RSS feed for it to show up in iTunes. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna copy this, and then you're gonna wanna go over to FeedBurner. Let me go to an incognito window to get to FeedBurner. Do you still have an incognito? Yeah, there we go. Let's go to feedburner.google.com. Should be pretty easy to sign up. Like you just sign up with your Google profile and then it will say, uh, like I think it will give you feeds to burn. It will allow you to burn your feeds. Yeah, you'll just, you'll paste your feed into here. And then you'll go to I am a podcaster and then next. And then um, I think the next thing that pops up is this page. If it doesn't pop up, then all you want to do is you want to click through your feed. Let me show you. You want to click through your feed. Then you want to go to optimize. Then you want to go to smartcast. And here is where you have to input all your metadata that will actually show up on the iTunes podcast um, store. So you need to paste your podcast image location from earlier. Remember, I told you to save that. Um, paste it here and select your category, maybe your subcategory, all that sort of shit. Include iTunes podcasting elements, of course. And then you can like put a little podcast summary which people will see on the itunes podcast store and you can put um your keywords here so like just put anything that relates to your podcast i don't even know you can open this up a little bit you know wow i didn't, I didn't even realize that was possible but yeah just put anything that relates to your podcast and then put your your email address include media rss information i've just done that i don't even know what it does but then i've got obviously my one's explicit because we swear we say fucking all that so <laughs> i've made this yes uh you might not do that even because i've seen people that swear but don't have the explicit um content thing so i don't know if that is necessary but then all you want to do is do your enter your podcast author and then save it and then you're basically done there when you've entered the metadata and done all of this, you should also click over on edit feed details and then actually create a custom feed link so that you don't have to use SoundCloud's RSS feed if you want to move your podcast to be hosted at a different place or something like that. So just make your custom link here and then that's what we'll use in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if this video helped you out and I'll see you guys in the next episode. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long So all this warmth I share with you